Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make Telegram bot buttons in Python. It's pretty simple, let's get started. First import Telebot, next install it. You can install it from terminal pip install Telebot or use the hint. Package is installing, it was installed successfully. And then from Telebot import types. OK, go ahead, create bot from telebot.telebot and paste the token from bot father, copy it, paste it here, and let's create two functions for question and for answer. Dev question with message and dev answer with callback. The function with the question will run when the user enters the quiz command. Quiz. And the answer function will run when the user selects the answer option. Write call true. And let's create buttons in question. Function write mark up equals types dot inline bot markup and row width equals one. This number means the number of buttons per line. Uh, we have a quiz with four answer options and it will be more convenient to make two buttons in a row. Let's add the question bot dot send message message dot chat dot id and then the question for example what is lighter and then reply markup equals markup. Okay, next let's add answer option in the form of buttons iron equals types dot inline keyboard button and for example one kilo of iron and next callback data equals for example answer iron okay next duplicate row to get four answers next cotton next same and no answer. Here one kilo of cotton, then same weight and no correct answer. And change callback data, answer cotton, answer same and no answer. Next add these answers to markup, markup dot add iron, then cotton, then same and no, add colon and Pass to fill this function later. Run the bot. We have the error. Let's comment this function temporarily and run the bot. The bot terminated immediately because we need to add bot dot polling. Rerun. That's good. Open the bot and add the quiz command. Send. And we have our questions and answer options in the form of buttons. Now we will implement the functionality so that when the button is pressed, we receive a response from the bot. Return to PyCharm or Visual Studio Code, uncomment these rows and write in answer function if callback.message, then bot.sendMessage, callback.message.chat.id and what's the message? Congratulations, you are the winner! Let's run the bot. Run. What's the mistake? We need another callback. Callback query handler, not handlers. We run. That's OK. Go to the quiz. Run the command. Choose the answer. Congratulations. Choose the another answer. And congratulations again. Let's make that the congratulations message is displayed only if the answer is correct. Return. And add the another condition if callback dot data equals answer same, then congratulations and else copy this row, paste it here and write think again. Rerun the bot, open it, restart. What is lighter? One kilo of iron, think again, one kilo of cotton, think again, same weight, congratulations. You are the winner. No correct answer. Think again. It works perfect. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a good coding. 
See you next time.